You won't believe how custom Lumion materials change your renders. In this video, we will learn how to make them. Hey guys, this is Milad. Welcome to Desire School channel. After a long break, we are back to create some interesting videos about Lumion. Lumion material library is not always useful. Some of its materials are not realistic. We need to find a solution for this problem by learning how to create custom materials in Lumion. In Lumion 2023, material creation system has been changed. But don't worry, in this video we will learn how to create custom materials in Lumion step by step. Let's jump into the screen. After launching Lumion, open a scene and load your 3D model. Then go to the material tab, then click on the new tab and select standard material to begin creating our material from scratch. The standard material is a raw material in Lumion and here we need to set the properties of our material to be created. Double click on the surface to display the material properties to us. On the left side of the image, we can see lots of the features and tabs that this material has. But don't worry, we will learn them step by step. For now, let's create a wooden floor material together and get familiar with the material creation process. The first and the fundamental element of creating material is the texture. A texture is an image that applied to the material surface, defining its appearance, pattern, and color. It represents the visual aspects of the material without any information about lighting, reflection, and roughness. For example, if you are creating a wood material, you need to use an image of a wooden surface as a texture or if you're creating ceramic tile material, you need an image of ceramic tile as the texture. You can obtain textures from websites such as polygon.com or cgaxis.com. These websites offer high quality textures. Additionally, you can capture an image of the desired material using a camera and use that image as a texture. However, it's important to optimize the image for this purpose. I have prepared a texture for this material before. You can find its download link in the video description and use it for your practice. To apply a texture to the material, you need to click on a small square next to the texture slider and select your desired texture file in a new window. As you see, the texture is applied to our surface. Sometimes the size of the texture may not be properly adjusted and may have unrealistic dimensions. To fix this issue, you can use the scale slider to increase or decrease the size of this texture until it appears natural. In Lumion, you can make some basic adjustments to the color of your texture. By clicking on a small square next to the color slider, you can choose your desired color. For example, if you select red color and then reduce the texture slider value, you can see by decreasing the value of this slider, the texture color leans toward red. And if you reduce it all the way, only the red color remains. It's important to note that Lumion ability to modify texture color is limited. And if you want to make more significant color change to your material, you may need to use image editing software like Photoshop. In my experience, I found that the best results for the adjusting texture colors in Lumion are achieved by slightly darkening or brightening the textures or adjusting their saturation. To darken a material, you can choose black as the color and reduce the texture slider value. To brighten a material, you can choose white as a color and reduce the texture slider value. To increase color saturation, you should select the closest color to the material. In this case, I choose brown color similar to the wood texture and reduce the texture slider value. Now our surface has achieved the appearance of a wooden floor, but it looks very smooth and unreal. 
To make our material look more natural, we need to add some depth and bumpiness to it and simulating the unevens of real wood surfaces. The first option we have for adding these depths is the Rene feature, which is require a normal map. Normal map is an image that contains information about the height variation of a material's surface, allowing us to artificially create highs and lows on our material surface. In the material editor, next to the relief slider, there is a small square. Click on it and select the normal map texture in the new window. Now you can see our surface have some bumps. You can adjust the intensity of this relief by changing the value of relief slider. If you don't have a normal map for your texture, Lumion provides a solution. Next to the small square on the right side of relief slider, there is a three dots option. Click on it and choose the generate normal map option. Lumion will create a normal map for you, which is better than nothing. However, for best results, it's recommend to either use a normal map specific to your texture or create an accurate normal map in software like Photoshop. If we want to make the surface details of our material deeper and more realistic, we should use both relief and displacement. By doing so, we can change the geometry of our model, creating realistic holes and cracks on the surface. To use displacement, click on the small square next to the displacement slider and select your displacement map. Now you can adjust the amount of surface height variation by increasing or decreasing the slider value. Please note that using displacement increase rendering time. Therefore, it's recommend to use it only when necessary. Now our material surface is no longer smooth and polished. It looks more realistic. However, we need to adjust its reflection and light behavior to make it more natural. As you can see, making materials in Lumion takes a lot of time, but there is a faster way. EasyViz is a Lumion material pack that includes over 1000 ready-to-use materials. These materials come with unique and high-quality textures and perfectly tuned settings. Also, there is a handy catalog to help you quickly find and pick the material you need. EasyViz has a special offer. The first 100 people who use this coupon can get this product for just $30. For adjusting the behavior of light, we have three main options in Lumion. Let's get familiar with them. Roughness. This option determines where the material is rough and where it's polished. It controls the sharpness or the softness of reflection and defines the type of light reflection. If some parts of your material is rough and some parts are smooth, you need roughness map. Just like before, click on the square next to the roughness slider and select your roughness map. You can control this parameter by a slider. Increasing the roughness value creates a matte surface, while decreasing it results in a smooth and shiny surface. Reflectivity. This option controls the amount of light reflection from the material surface. For example, a mirror surface has a high reflectivity of around 99% while fabric has a very low reflectivity. If you want sharp reflection on certain parts of your material, it's necessary to adjust the reflectivity alongside roughness. If different parts of your material have different reflectivity level, you should use a reflectivity map. Adding reflectivity map is similar to the previous. Metalness. This option determines the metallic nature of the material and creates reflections similar to metallic surfaces. To adjust the reflection level of a metallic object, you need to use both metalness and reflectivity simultaneously. If different parts of your material have different reflectivity level, you should use a metalness map. Adding metalness map is similar to the previous. Now our wooden floor material have a nice reflection. There is another option for adjusting reflections in Lumion, and this is clear code. To find this option, 
Go to the bottom section of the Material Editor windows and find the setting tab. There you will find the clear coat slider. The effect of this option is similar to applying a transparent and shiny oil layer on the material surface, like the protective glossy oil on a wood. If you intend to use this option, it's better to set the slider value to the maximum. Now our wood floor have a nice reflection and looks realistic. There is two additional sections in Material Editor. Let's get familiar with them. UV coordinates. If you want to place your texture in a specific position on the surface, you have to use UV coordinates. You can find this tab on the bottom of the Material Editor window. In this section, you can adjust the position and orientation of your texture on the surface using a sliders for the X, Y, and Z axis. By adjusting these settings, you can preciously control the placement of your texture. Weathering You can locate this tab below the Material Editor window as well. As you can see, there is a slider and several small thumbnails that representing different material presets. This option adds effects such as dirt, color fading and stains to the surface of your material and make it look old or used. The effect of this option will be more visible on the edge of the objects. By clicking on the thumbnail image, you can preview different style and patterns of weathering on your surface. I recommend not overdoing this option. A small amount of weathering can improve the appearance of edge and reduce surface roughness and make your material look more realistic. Okay, now we have a very nice wooden floor. This is exactly looks like a wooden floor. We can see bumps on surface, also we have nice reflection on our material. And for making it looks more real, I have added weathering effect. Thank you for having me in this video. We will create more videos about Lumion materials and I'm confident that after you watching them, you will be able to produce high quality materials in Lumion. Goodbye.